Welcome back in. You're watching Talk Wisconsin. This might not be the first time you've thought about or heard about the striking cover of this month's Madison Magazine. Today we're going to talk to editor Andrea Bailing about that and more. Thanks so much for taking time with us, Andrea. Yeah, thanks for having me, Jessa. What an incredible cover and a great story. Let's touch a little bit on that. We'll talk about some other things that are rolling out new, but I want to hear about this incredible cover first. I know, yeah, I've got it in my hands right here. I, I just love love looking at it. It is such a striking cover and I feel like just kind of documents this moment in time that we're in. Um, but this is actually, so the Lionhearts is our, um, is our top nurses feature that we, we do every other year. Um, and this year it just made, um, you know, it, it was even more, you know, emotional going through the nominations of nurses in the area that the um, people nominated. Um, and we decided, you know, we usually give awards in the innovation category, an innovation award, practice and leadership. And we just decided we can't not recognize all of these nurses that are nominated. So we named all 60 nurses that um, that that were that submitted, you know, people submitted nomination papers for, but we did highlight seven nurses that are just doing incredible things, you know, cr creating innovative, um, you know, ways to, to screen people at homeless shelters. Um, there's a, a nurse that it's her first year on the job and she's the only black nurse on her unit in a state where only 2% of nurses are black. Um, just really, just just these stories are amazing. These nurses, and, and I know, you know, people know this, our, our health care workers are doing so much right now. So this was a really fun way to, to just highlight some nurses in the area. Absolutely. Well, doing heroic work, especially right now during the pandemic, it's nice to put some local faces and stories to some of these issues that we're hearing about and seeing. So right here in our own community. And, uh, you know, you're tackling another tough topic this month, which is domestic violence. And this is an issue that uh, sadly we've seen a rise in throughout the pandemic. Talk to us a little bit about what your writer found in terms of numbers. Yeah, Maggie Ginsberg, who actually, she's been a longtime freelancer for the magazine, and now we just added her onto our staff as an associate editor. Yeah, she really dug into this because we knew that, that this, you know, the pandemic and, and quarantine, the safer at home order was not great for everyone. Um, and she, you know, she talked to the domestic abuse intervention services and, and found that um, when the, the safer at home order went into effect in March, they only had 33 callers, which makes sense because these victims are then stuck at home with their abusers and can't make these phone calls. But then when business started reopening and people started going outside and getting out of their houses, by July, that number nearly tripled to 92 um, callers that filled out assessments. Um, and it's the highest they've had all year. And at the same time, Unidos, Unidos who um, is the only 24 seven um, Spanish speaking domestic violence hotline, um, they also um, had their their numbers go from 800 total in 2019 to um, nearly 2000 by September of 2020. So the pandemic just highlights the disparities that victims um, are already suffering um, and, and it just makes them such a vulnerable pop population, which makes it so important just to stay connected to your neighbors, check in with your friends and, and just make sure that, that things are OK. I do want to take some time, Andrea, to talk about what's new for 2021. You have some exciting new features. Give us some, some ideas of what to expect. Yeah, yeah. With our January issue, we always kind of turn a new leaf and, and try to update uh, our magazine and what you'll find in here. And we did add a couple of features and, and tweaked a couple others. So we, we were doing um, uh, you know, a, a shop local kind of page, um, and we changed that to the a Madison Maker feature. So it's more focused on the person actually creating the product or 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 making something, um, which is really fun. Um, and we added a lot to our food section as well from the kitchen, which is kind of a feature on restaurants and chefs. And um, and then also we added a food for thought food column that is also going to be a rotating list of freelancers that write about food topics. So it'll be fun to get more voices in the magazine there. And we're also speaking of voices, um, we, we uh, in February, actually not in this book, but um, uh, the voices column, we, we used to do a spectrum voices uh, publication. Um, um, we've re reintroduced the voices column, which um, is a uh, guest columnist 
that, um, from, that comes from a diverse perspective um, that uh, writes a column uh, monthly in the magazine. So we're super excited for these new new features. We also have a, a new home feature called 608 um, Abode, which is fun um, in our at home section. So lots of fun stuff to look at in this new issue. Thanks so much, Andrea, for touching on this. We didn't get to the mocktail, but you gotta go ahead and grab January's issue so you can see what the mocktail is all about, a neat story behind that. Thanks for sharing some of what's coming up in 2021. Nice to see you. Yeah, good to see you too. We'll be back with more after the break. Stick with us.